Alright, let's get this party started. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe 39A palette to do the olive green look I want to do. I'm also going to be using the Morphe 35M, the Boss Mood palette. It is very pretty. I'm going to be digging into the greens in this palette and one of the little... We'll see. We'll play around with it a little bit. I've already done my brows and prepped my eyelids for some eyeshadow. So we're going to start with the eyes today first. And I am going to show you the full face. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'm going to go in with the 35A palette first. And I'm going to grab one of the transition shades from here. One of these big ones here. I'm going to start with this one right here. And then probably mix in a little bit of this one too. So these two here. I'm just going to grab this brush here. Just mix those two shades in and put that in the crease. Just deepening that color just a tiny bit more. And then from the Boss Mood palette... I'm gonna grab the shade Hello Sunshine, which is this shade right here, that green yellow color right there, and put that a little bit on the um, crease as well. Just mixing it in with those colors I use, and I'm just using the same brush. And I'm gonna grab a smaller brush, a little more precise brush and go back into the 35A palette and grab this light green shade right there this one and just pack that here in the outer corner and just gonna build it up and put it in my inner corner as well don't worry about the inner part because we're going to do like a halo type of look here. And I'm going to connect those a little on the top here. I'm going to grab that other brush that I used to put in the crease shades and just uh, mix those two together. So it's a better blend. To deepen up the look, I'm going to go in with that dark, dark green shade right there. And put that also in the outer corner and in the inner corner. And I'm just going to go and blend all that again. Now I want to darken the outer corner just a little bit more. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Just a smaller brush. And go in with a black in that 35A palette. And I'm just going to darken out the outer corner, not the inner corner. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to go back in with that dark green. And go over that a little bit. Okay, just like that. And don't worry so much about that outer part there because we're going to fix it once we go back and wipe it off. And then I'm going to cut the crease. Well, not cut the crease, but the middle here. I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on there. Just going to grab a small brush here. Oh, if you can see it, there you go. Just small flat brush and I'm gonna go in with my um, Colourpop concealer this is in the shade light 18 I'm gonna grab a little of that concealer on my brush and I'm gonna cut the middle here if you look up it tells you where the line should be I'm going to go back in with that green 
just that the edges are not so rough there. And it blends in with the shade that we're going to use in the middle. I'm going to put it in the inner corner too. And then in the center, I'm going to go in with the other palette, the Boss Food 35M palette. And I'm going to grab the sparkly green shade. And I'm actually going to just go in with my finger with that one and just put that in the middle. You guys can see it's a light green, like a green yellow shade. And that's that eye, at least the lid part. I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I will be right back and we'll finish the rest of the look. Alright, so we're back with the other eye done. I'm going to grab a little bit of my Fenty Beauty highlighter and Trophy Wife. And I'm going to put a little bit of it in the center, like in the real center of that halo right there. I just want an extra sparkle. I'm going to prime my face using the Primer FX Blurring Primer. And then I'm going to go in. Um, I've been using these two together lately. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and, my, of course, my True Match Lumi Foundation. And just going to place this on my face. And then just a tiny bit of this one as well. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe sponge hair. And I'm going to dab the foundation all into my face. I'm going to grab a little bit of that concealer um, that I used to prime my eyes. It's just a ColourPop no filter concealer. And just a little under my eyes and a little on the forehead and I'm gonna just put that in there and then I'm gonna grab my Becca uh, my Panama Sun um, bronzer and bronze up the face any blush today I'm gonna go in with this um, Morphe highlighter in the shade extra and I'm also gonna grab a little bit of that Fenty Beauty um, highlighter that I used on the eyes just a tiny bit over that now I'm going to go back into the eyes and finish the look. I'm going to use this green liner from NYX. This is the Slide Eye and Glide On Stay On and definitely a Turn On Waterproof um, Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Tropical Green. And I'm going to put this on my waterline. I'm going to grab that um, dark green shade that we use from the 38 palette, that dark green right there, and put that on my lower lash line just with a smaller brush and pop it in there. And to blend it furthermore, I'm going to grab the shade here from... Um, the 35M palette. I'm gonna grab this shade right there and smoke it out just a tiny bit more. And I'm just gonna use that same brush that I used. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna grab the smaller brush and go in also with that same palette and grab this shade right there and put that in the inner corner here. I want a little more pop of color in there. I'm going to use that Morphe highlighter and just 
place it on top of that. I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. That's what that looks like. I'm going to highlight the brow bone just a little bit. I'm going to use the shade from the 35M palette. I'm going to use this light shade right there to highlight the brow bone. almost forgot to highlight the nose. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And the chin just a tiny bit. And then for lips today, I'm going to be using the ColourPop um, these lipsticks. And this is the shade Friends. I'm actually going to take off the lip mask I have on. Go in with that lipstick. It kind of looks almost black on camera, but it's not really that dark. I'm going to grab a little bit of my MAC, um, what is this, Cafe Al Chic Liquid Lipstick and put that in the center. I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want to see more looks with these palettes. Um, let me know down below. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at my next one. Toodles!